So now let's dive into the Knights and Knaves problem. So one way that I like to approach these problems is simply by looking at the rules that were given. So let's recap the Knights and Knaves problem. It was as follows. You arrive on an island where there's two types of people. Knights, who can only tell the truth, and Knaves, who can only tell lies. You're approached by two people from the island. Person A says that person B is a knight. And person B says that he and person A are of opposite types. What type of person is person A and what type of person is person B? So let's start off by doing something that's sort of an intuitive uh, first step I would think and that is by supposing that person A is in fact a knight. So let's suppose that. What would that mean about what person A is saying? That would mean that everything that person A was saying would be true. Now what's person A saying? Person A is saying that person B is a knight. What would that mean about what person B is saying? That would mean that person B would have to be telling the truth. Is this possible? What's person B saying? Person B is saying that he and person A are of opposite types. So if you an analyze what we just said, uh, that both people are telling the truth uh, and that they're both the same type and that one is saying that they're of opposite types, uh, we arrive at a contradiction. This cannot be so. So person A cannot be a knight. So now that we've uh, established that, it's kind of, it, the solution sort of just jumps out at you that person A is actually a knave. So let's just go through the problem supposing person A is a knave. What would that mean about what person A is saying? That would mean that what person A is saying is in fact a lie and not true. What's person A saying again? Person A is saying that person B is a knight. So what would that mean about person B? It would mean that they are in fact not a knight, that they are a knave. Now what does that mean about what person B is saying? That means that whatever person B is saying is in fact a lie. So that would mean that person A and person B are not of opposite types. And uh, is this satisfied by person A being a knave and person B being a knave? Yes it is. So we arrive at a situation in which the rules of the the world and the problem that we're given are satisfied by person A being a knave and person B being a knave and that whatever they're saying is in line with the character and the rules of the problem given. If you go through the rest of the solutions and supposing uh, starting with person B, you'll find that, that you arrive at the same answer and that is actually the only place at which you don't arrive at a contradiction is when person A is a knave and person B is also a knave. I hope that by seeing the solution sets to these problems that it, uh, and me not just giving the answers but the solutions themselves will hopefully give you some tools to uh, solve problems uh, both logical, riddle and everyday in your future life.